Hello, hello there. <laughs> Greetings and welcome. Whew. We were doing a little pre-stream testing here. Checking out text stylings to try and make it a little easier to read in the text box there. None of them worked, really, except for this drop shadow we've put on it, so we're leaving that. How y'all doing today? <sighs> today has been a long, longer than anticipated tiring day. Work was exhausting, and then, you know, we had to go out and do a little shopping trip, but we got what we needed. And it was a lovely time. Whew. All right. We're not going to do too much preamble this time. We're just going to get right into business here. And by business, we, of course, mean shadows of doubt. There's some goddamn murders to solve. And by fucking God, we gotta solve them. That's an old... This save right here is our testing save where we're trying things out. We're gonna be doing a new game. Starting from scratch here. Now, we could do The Dead of Night, which is, a again, their story-crafted case. But no. We're gonna sandbox the shit out of this one. We're gonna get into the sandbox. We're going to go from scratch here. Alright. Gang, what should we name this city? Yeah, we're getting neck deep in that sand. We're getting buried in there. In the, we're getting immersed in the sludge. We built this city, the city. Some great suggestions here, gang. The shitty. <laughs> That's the funniest option so far. Alright. Oh, okay. We have another suggestion coming in. Big Manopolis. <laughs> you don't sound impressed. That is a powerful name. However, I'm intrinsically drawn to the shitty. Come down podcast. <laughs> God, how are we ever going to choose? Y'all are coming up with some great names. Alright. Alright, we're going with Shitty Come Town Podcast. Medium sized city. We're not naming an Amarat, we're sorry. All right, the shitty come down podcast is so full of crime. No, you have done this. You have burdened. You have burdened this. Now we have no choice but to solve crimes in shitty come down podcast. We have no choice. There's almost as much crime as there is shit and come. Kira Goodman, Lucy Griffiths, Paula Cortez, Kayla Schmidt. Pretty sure we know a person named that in real life, so, uh, no. Inho Alvarez, Elena Crutchfield. We'll go with Elena Crutchfield. All right. Easy, normal, hard, extreme. We're going to stick with easy for now when we think... Alana. What did we say? Elena. Elena. Ah. Alana. Technically, if we go by grammar rules, but Alana, yes. Anyways. Listen, it's been a very long day. And we care not for grammar rules. Alright. Anyways. Let's go ahead and climb on into the city of, sh of Shitty Come Town Podcast. Subterranean levels of the city are known as the Fathoms. Alright, they're creating companies. So, for those who don't know about what this game is, uh, we are basically... This is a cyberpunk 19... Like, 90s city that is generating here for us. Oh, we forgot to turn that on! We have to go into the settings. There's some important settings we have to play with here. 
There's some very important settings. We forgot about them entirely in our rush to get home and get streaming. We're really gonna hope that, uh... Yeah, we're really gonna hope that... We can get into the settings after the city's been created. And if not, then we'll just quickly go ahead and remake the city. That's fine. So yeah, anyways, for those who don't know what this game's about, uh, it's a procedurally generated immersive sim in the style of, like, Deus Ex, those sorts of games. Where, uh, you are a cyberpunk citizen detective. So, uh, and there are murderers about, and other criminals. And our job is to solve them. By any means necessary. Usually illegal ones. Detective, not cop. Specifically, not a cop. In the, uh, in the Dead of Night scenario the game hands you, you are, like, a former cop. We don't know what it's gonna be for this state, for sa the sandbox. Uh, no, the tutorial text to guide you through how to play. I think this just kind of pops up at the bottom of the screen as little reminders occasionally of how you can play the functions. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll leave it on for now. It is the late twentieth century. Hyperindustrialization has swept the planet. The old bourbon empire has crumbled, giving way to the United Atlantic States and the first elect elected megacorporation president in history, Starch Cola. As sea levels rise, cities have become polluted islands. Workers dream of escaping to the fields, an exclusive retirement district few will ever see. Rival corporations vie for power, policed by the privatized Starch Cola enforcers. Some say justice now only exists in the shadows. Title drop. All right, Elena, Cr Elena Crushfield. All right, streaming settings. So here's the important things. One, we're gonna turn off the license music. Two. Somewhere in these cities, there will be Twitch chat. Possibly even criminals. How do we enable auto update? Understandable. Who doesn't, who does not fucking love crime? All right, so uh, I'm trying to see if we can uh, 
it'll let us turn on and off all the status effects we can gather, but of course we're going to go ahead and uh, leave those be. Alright. It's not giving us an option for auto-update. So we're going to make sure if it's case-sensitive. All right, we're going to see if that works, we suppose. All right, so here at 6 p.m. Now, the thing is, we don't get to know whose people's names are unless we, like, give them money or can really think of a good reason for them to listen to us. So what do we got? We got co five coins, our fists, a watch, a print scanner. All right, I would really like if we had some handcuffs. All right. And keep us updated on how the stream's looking at any given time. We're going to see there. Oh, yeah, we cha we rebound the crouch key, and uh, the game does not like it. <laughs> we got a lot there. We could operate the synth fish. We could buy synth beef, beef cube, synth chicken cube, or synth pork brick. But I don't think we're hungry. Look at this, fine. I'm Kenya from Matthew Martin Street. Well, thank you for... You just said your name out loud! Just said your name out loud. Anyways, we're buying a synth beef. We got what? We got a hundred bucks to our name? We're buying a synth beef, just in case. We can get some cigarettes while we're at it, but we don't have a lighter. We can get a matchbox. Alright. Yeah, you're right. None of that was fish. The economy is in shambles. Can't even buy synth fish at the synth fish market. This is wolf? Okay. We're just kind of getting our bearings here, because there's no crime about right now. Vending machine. What do you vent? Oh, shit. They're selling insult. That's how you know this is an unrealistic future. They're selling insulin out here in the fucking uh, streets for 30 credits each. Alright, ooh. We have a Chinatown district over here. What appears to be a large corporate tower of some sort. Johansson Street. We have a diner. Important. The volunteer. Volunteer kitchen. Wow. That's a little tragic. What have we got on the jukebox? We're stupid. None of these tracks are gonna play. We just turned off licensed music. None of these tracks are gonna play. We just spent two dollars on a on a silent jukebox. So the point of this game is again. Up, oh, that was an interesting little sound there. Is that cases should start popping up in a little bit as soon as we also go ahead and uh, if we hit F, we can pull up the map. Here and this will tell give us a kind of street overview. If we can find City Hall, ah, City Hall is kind of in the same place every time. Then we're gonna head over to City Hall. We should be able to find a job board. Uh, there the game audio is very quiet right now. It's just footsteps and like ambient noise. This is Miyamoto Boulevard. By default, there will be an active murderer in the city. 
602 B Gay Heights. All right. All right. There's a new case, baby. All right. We're at City Hall. We need a case resolution form. Get us the fuck in here. Out of my way. The Red Gum Reaper. All right. Just a simple question. All right, so it's 6:50 p.m. now. We gotta go to B Gay's to B Gay Street. B Gay Heights. All right. So it's gonna be the building at the other end of the street. All right. Let's get to moseying. I think that cop's on his way to the crime right now. So these are the questions we have to answer. We have to find the full name of the killer, arrest them if possible, get evidence that places them at the scene of the crime, figure out where the killer lives, and locate the murder weapon. Now, we have to beat the cops here because if, uh... If we don't beat the cops here... Well, frankly speaking, they might lock us the fuck out. So fucking true, Justin. Also, hello, Justin. Alright. Gotta get warm. I gotta do shit. Alright, All right, cop, let's go. This game is very nice looking. Hang on, we gotta sprint up the hole. The cops are here. We gotta beat them in. Or find a different way into the apartment. 602. 602. It's been shut down. Shit. Okay. Alright, we're going up a floor. Alright. Alright, we're looking for something here. That's locked. We have a window. We don't have a ledge outside, though, so that's gonna be a problem. Okay, there's a security camera directly outside. Is there one outside every door? Son of a bitch. Okay. Cops got it open. You just phased through the wall, dude. Yeah, buddy? Okay, if we follow the wire here. That's the alarm switch for that guy. This is the box for the cameras. Yeah, what the... Oh my god. This guy's dead. Mind your fucking own, buddy. Okay, so yeah, the cops have gotten here, which means to investigate is trespassing. Um, what the scallop? We're gonna hide under the bed. Well, the cop does his thing down there. We should have shut the camera off first. We didn't do that because we're stupid. All right, so we're gonna hide here for a minute. We're going to take the glance. we got the Red Gum Reaper case file. So the one of our favorite things about this game is that as we find pieces of evidence, various items, we get to build our own fucking, like, red web case board. There is nothing suspicious about this activity, Melody. We're a detective. We're a professional. An astute professional. We love games like this because they let us machinima at our audience because we don't have the tools to do that with our actual hands or model or anything. So we use games like this to do it instead. Hold your horses! What is it? Yeah, Columbo did this all the time. This is a professional technique. Uh, you close the door. Alright, so there's two cops in here. There's two cops? Are you sitting? Are you sitting at their kitchen table? There's a dead person in here, and you're in there sitting, you're making yourself a sandwich over there? What are you doing? You're using their goddamn bathroom. You're using their shitter. There's a dead body here, and you're using the shitter. In the crime scene. This is why you can't trust the fucking cops. This is why we have to do this. That's why the most trustworthy person in this fucking apartment right now is the detective hiding under the bed. Why did you do that?
All right, now we have to be careful. So. Okay, so. All right, they were stabbed to death. First piece of evidence. Splash of the blade between uh between five forty five and seven. That makes sense. It was around six fifty. It was reported. So unknown citizen. Okay, they have a safe right there. Keypad. Seriously, the disrespect of that guy. Disrespect of that guy. Don't mind that. Columbo also did that. Columbo also stole whatever change was laying around the apartment. Birth certificate? That'll give us a name. Alright. We have our victim. We should probably... No, actually, what do we... Is there anything vital in this? No. Except for the fact they live in shitty Cumbtown Podcast. The year you were born. Okay. Which was 1945. That's the key to the safe right there. Okay. Uh oh The door's open, buddy. Do Did one of you close the door? Did one of you cops open it close your own door? All right, you give it up. No one's ever fucking ready for bed strat. Remember, check your fucking check your fucking bed. Check under the bed. There might be a detective nearby, and there might your bed, your room might be a crime scene. Keep that in mind, would you? What if we just close the door? Okay, you've got a synth. You've got a, you've got a pair of spectacles in here. All right, none of that helps me. What does help me? Get this. So, inside the safe, is there anything like fingerprints? How about the outside? You got one? Fingerprints type A. We're gonna take a print from the cadaver. Alright. So now if we just double check that print. Type A. What's the say? Advertisement. Female but bills? Dove. Some of that doesn't feel twenty fifth. Layla Bryant birthday. Interesting. Was that tissue box? Plant pot. Uh, now the occultic circle might have a uh, something to do with this. If we had to guess, well, all right. So. Analyzing the corpse again. There's, there's pants all over the floor. 
Face Gymnasium. There's a city directory. A shoot. I think. The tenancy agreement. Beta blockers. Alright. Layla Bryant work rotation. As a receptionist. Oh, hi, Caden. Now, we would like to work on the assumption here that uh, Layla Bryant is the owner of this apartment. Let's play. E P N O S W. It's spelled wrong. So it's an initial last name. Set that one aside. That's an important one. And packing tape. And a paper clip. No, she doesn't have a computer, which is unfortunate, because that would be really, really helpful for the whole, uh, Figuring out something more. However, we can take a look at the city directory. Ash Warehouse. Lobby Barbecue. Hi, Phoenix. There's a lot of names in this book. Oh, boy. All right, we got the note, so we're going to come back for that. Cleaning spray, fish, this dish return. All right, okay. Yeah, this ominous note feels like it should be a little more important. It. Yeah, so this crumpled paper is the key to solving this, we feel. Okay, we can't get out that bit. Shame, shame. Bingo. Who the hell was that at the door? Who the hell just tried the door? We'll come back. Whoop. All right, there's a cop outside. Well, shit. Oh, wait. We're that fucking good. We'll just crawl out. Okay, we're above 603. The... That is a cop. Why are you in this lady's apartment? Okay. Alright. Seriously, cops are just busting it anyway these days. This is so fucked up. That's why you can't trust police. You can only trust your local responsible citizen detectives.
this would absolutely drop us into someone's apartment. Apparently it's cold in here. Let's go ahead and slide on down this way. Alright, now we're on the fifth floor. Alright, we're going to stop in for a second here and take stock of our notes. Where does Layla Bryant work, though? We didn't find a business card or anything like that, unfortunately. So the Type A fingerprints were for this citizen. The one who's died. We can safely assume the one killed here was probably Layla Bryant. We can probably safely assume that. It's this that is the real thing of note here. Is there anyone in the directory named Epson? Because W. Epson is the first name that comes to mind for us. Hi, the camera. Oh, we're cold. We're cold because we spent so much time up in the vents. That would explain that. It's probably cold in there. <sighs> we should have gotten a key. That's what we should have gotten. Howdy, sir. It's not a good angle to break into the security box there, so. Alright. So we're going to hit the streets. Excuse me, sir. Synth milk. People are just leaving this shit out. Don't mind if we do. Take a free snack for later. Alright. Let's go find a phone book. That's a good little treat we get for being a good detective. Alright. Thankfully, the diner across the street should have one. We hope. Oh, right. This doesn't work, so first floor is not the ground floor. Okay. Anyways. Who's clearing their throat and sighing over there? Stop that. Alright. There's a phone booth. There'll be a city directory in there. Alright. Epson. Epson. No. There is no Epson in here. Shit, so we're on the wrong path there. Because we think our best lead right now is this note. That doesn't help anyone. Hmm. 
Skunk Sandwich Hut. That's powerful. Alright, we're gonna solve some fucking crime here. We're gonna figure this shit out. P. Owens. Fifteen oh one B gay heights. All right, we have a lead. Boy, this is a tall building. We got no weapons, no handcuffs, nothing but a dream of solving a crime. Eleven? Twelve? Thirteen? Fourteen? Fifteen? Hello, Shuki. Welcome. Somebody's home. We have a crime to solve. There's been a murder. And we've got a lead. Well, hello, ma'am. None of your business. Your name's Piper Owens. Have you seen or heard anything unusual? Nothing. Uh... Do you know this person? That's Layla Bryant. We have confirmation. Loves music. I saw them today at 602 BA Gay Heights around 6.30 p.m. Dang, we might know who our killer is. Uh. Okay. We have a guest pass! You don't mind, you say. Okay. Well, I guess it's very... You know, you were being very forthcoming in this. Shouldn't have left a note that possibly had your name on it. Excuse me. Alright, you can stand there naked in your own door. You've given us permission to... This is unidentified human remains. This is your purse. The skeleton has appeared. What if we stole her key? That's a cute outfit you've got there. Alright, Piper Owens. This is a stuffed fabric pillow. You've got a gramophone. You have a vintage sword. Employment agreement. Flamingo Corporation. Okay. A doctor's prescription for beta blockers. Yeah, this is Shadows of Doubt, Maru. And, uh, so far? Yeah, we're having a care in no time. Why do you... Violet Wallace? Sh yeah, we're in the town of Shitty Cumtown Podcast. Piper Owens owns this place. And the tenant Violet Wallace. Ah, shit, girlfriends live here. This is going to be so fucking sad when we have to arrest the lesbians. Hmm? 
Yes, during Pride Month. You'll excuse me. You've given me the guest pass here. That's a bathroom. Excuse me, I was looking for your bedroom. All right, you know what? You make a fair point, Dizzy. You make a very fair point. All right. That's a desk fan. I look close. Lamp. Thank you. I will steal your paper clip. This is a vent. This is a useless closet. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? We don't know what that is. This scares us. There's a vent up there. There's a... Excuse you! You're gonna come turn the lamp off again, aren't you? Alright, fair enough. I guess we're doing this in the dark! You're weirdly suspiciously trusting of me here. Year you were born. For Violet Wallace. Birth date, 1935. That's password. That's some stupid self-help book. Alright, let me use the micro-cruncher here. Uh, yeah, no, this is... Uh, yeah, no. God, we're so sorry your wife's so gay for you, because you are going to be arrested by the end of this when we go through your wife's emails. A chess set. And a weird candlestick. God, you were making this as obvious as you possibly can here. We're going through your trash. You have nothing in your trash can. Okay. Oven. Nope. Alright. Prop gun from Kolob Grieving. This is... Ed, you must be Violet Wallace. This is a screwdriver. Slash to death. So it was a knife of some sort. Odds are good that Piper Owens has it. Or 9.15 p.m. Wait. What? That's impossible. They were dead by then. No way, you say. Gang, this case might be a little... This case might be bigger than we thought. We know who you are, though, already. Sorry, lady. 
I'm still allowed to be in your house. Wrong one. Okay. They worked at the same company. Ooh. Interesting. Type B fingerprint. Yeah, we're glad you're enjoying this. We're glad you're enjoying this, Justin. Uh, not the whole soundtrack. The ambient music that keeps playing isn't doesn't appear to be licensed. Good night. Sleep tight. A trophy. A synth disc. What the... Hi, right, Piper. Now, the thing is, odds are good that we need to find the murder weapon. Which is probably she's holding it. Which means we'd have to arrest her. Can we help you? What? You're getting mad we're going through your drawers? You got a problem with that? Nothing? Okay. Excuse me for dropping in. Uh, hi, Winston. That scared us. Hi. Uh, we're solving a murder. We're solving a murder. We think we were just in the murderer's apartment. But we need more con concrete evidence. Wait. Wait, we still have a guest pass. We're going to the sixth floor, but we're going right back up. Well, while our guest pass is still valid, we're going in there again. We've got to search her computer real quick. Very considerate of her, though, to just let us in. There might be more evidence there. Howdy, we're back. Did you know your wife's a little fucked up and sleeps the wrong way? We just thought you'd like to know.
Your computer, your your chair, it's very comfortable. Thank you. Street Fighter Six. Hi, Cookie. Are right, you got nothing suspicious on your computer? Oh, they're having a couple's argument in here. So, uh, these random people whose home who, who are in who are having a lesbian lover dispute, as far as we were aware, she might be a murderer. She might be our murder suspect. That said, we'll leave you to your lover's dispute. We'll leave you to your argument. We're going to break back into that apartment. We're breaking back in. We've got more evidence to find. And also, we did in fact steal the key to their to their apartment up there, so they can't actually stop us from going in. Alright. Evening, officer. Nothing. Fair enough. Uh, do you know this person? Today at 6 to Big A Heights, around 11 p.m. They're still dead. Sigh sadly all you want. Alright, so we could lockpick this open. But that camera's there. It's dangerous. Now, there was a safe entry point. Down here. God, we wish we could have Asian pears. Whoop. We are allergic to apples and all sorts of pears, yeah. It is so sad. It is so sad. Whoa. This is a hell of a bench to be climbing up. That's too high. Ooh, watermelon's so fucking good. Hell yes, watermelon. Alright. This one gets us to the sixth floor. This is 601. So not quite. Yeah, we know it's cold in here. Yeah, we're freezing our ass off, but... And we're thirsty, alright. Yeah, okay, we can fix these problems. Eventually. She doesn't even have a kitchen. Yeah, it's got full survival mechanics and everything. Ugh. Yeah, we're cold in the vent. Yes, we get it. We're just trying to get up. Okay? That's where we came from, because that's where the camera almost spotted us. 
So, we need to get up one more floor. Okay. This is the sixth floor. Bingo. Alright, now we just gotta find 602 again. Yeah, we know we're fucking cold. 601. We should have done a better job memorizing the floor layout. Wonder if the synth beef we bought or wait. All right. Chug. Ah, refreshing. All right. So we've solved one problem. Good thing we had our little. Tasty detective treat. That's 603. Where's 602? Yeah, there's nothing better than a pint of jacket milk. Gets you through gets you through the cold of it. Somebody's in there. Yeah, there's a cop just hanging out in that person's kitchen. I'm pretty sure that's 603. Where the fuck is 602? We got we got into 603 into 602. Like we got out of 602 through the vent. So it's somewhere around here. We should have just fucking picked the lock. Now we're freezing to death in this fucking vent. If we freeze to death in this vent, it's going to be embarrassing. We're going to say that much. This is 601 again. That's a long da way down. Six oh two. Well, we got there. Okay. okay. We need something. That places the suspect. Piper Owens wrote that note. Vossel. Hi, Kelly. We need something that... Well, that for certain. Yeah, this for certain. 
is connected to her. Mm -hmm. All right. So that was definitely fingerprint of Piper Owens. We have evidence that places are here. All right. Now we just have to get out. We're thirsty again. Can I, can I drink the sink water? No? Okay. Good thing we came prepared. We chug our synth milk here in the bathroom. Oh. We're nauseous. I don't know how we got that out of throwing up in the toilet, but okay. A little bit of privacy here. And we dry ourselves off. They would never do that. Listen, the first thing that happened when a cop got here and discovered the body is the cop went, holy, like, oh my god, there's a murder. Then walked in here and fucking took a shit. That was the first thing the cop did. So if they're going to get us for that one, that's on them. And it's just as likely the cop did it. Alright. We're hungry. Good thing we, uh, got a little, uh, detective snack. Why are we nauseous again? Is it because we didn't cook it? We got lost in the vents again. We just need to get down to the fifth floor again. And that'll be our out. That's someone's apartment. Okay. So, we think we've got all the pieces we need here. But, uh... We just need the murder weapon. Which we think Piper Owens probably has. Still. Like, on her. So we need to get the murder weapon from her. And from there, we can solve this crime. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get out of these fucking beds. We gotta go acquire handcuffs. We gotta do a citizen's arrest. We're so cold. That's someone's apartment. That will not help us. Oh shit. Alright, down we go. We'll just keep going down. Fuck it. Four oh two. All right. Up. Well. 
cold up there in those vents. Well, anyways. Bottle of Ruby Choice. For free. Won't say no to that. Alright. Who's just leaving all these bottles everywhere here? Unknown, oh, that's the cop again. Alright. Okay. So let's go over what we know. We're pretty sure... It's Piper Owens. Not Owens. Okay. We're gonna go for the arrest. Do you have evidence? Yes, we do. This is the crumpled paper that has her fingerprints on it. Where does the killer live? Excuse me for God. dropping in. Winston is so loud. Hello. 1501 BK Heights. No, we're a citizen detective, actually. So really, we're like Columbo. We're not a cop. All right, we're a little cold still, but whatever. Yeah, just like Yellow Jackets, probably. We haven't seen Yellow Jackets, so couldn't tell you. We are just going to go find ourselves some handcuffs. We're going to do a citizen's arrest. Going over to City Hall. And because we're guessing, she has the murder weapon on her. God, it's cold out here. All right. All right, I can buy handcuffs, a code breaker. Damn, this is some weird stuff that I can just buy. Wild. Ooh, a camera. We're gonna get the handcuffs. What is it? All right. So, we're going to head back there in a moment once we warm up. And we're going to go make an arrest. And we're going to take what evidence we've got. We put the crime together. And we're going to go solve it as soon as we stop shivering. Whew. All right. only took us seven hours to solve this crime. Have you visited the crime scene? Lady, we've broken into it twice. Don't question our abilities. Thank you. Alright. Let's go. We've got an arrest to make, and more importantly, a weapon to find. Oh, we're cold again immediately? Okay. Well, we're not going to use the vents this time, so it's fine. We can be a little cold. Cold night, after all. We're not gonna fucking walk up 15 flights of stairs. We need that energy in case we have to make an arrest. And by in case, I mean when we make her. You are so small and so caked up. What the fuck, dude? Fucking let's 
picked up fucking hobbit that we've ever seen. Anyways. No, we've got an arrest to make. We don't have time to throw hands with the caked up hobbit who's just fucking strolling around. But if we need to, we got we're willing to give it equal lefts and rights. Oh. No, we're gonna go make an arrest while probably while she's sleeping. Oh yeah, we left it unlocked. Actually, we could do this a more fucked up way. Hi, Piper Owens. Thanks for the guest pass. You've been handcuffed. Now if you'll excuse us, you don't have it on you. You're not going to complain if we uh, go ahead and turn the lights on here for a moment. Get your hairpin. Well! If you'll excuse us. That's an arrest made. We're not gonna... Seems we're not gonna find the murder weapon here. But that's okay. We're gonna go with the arrest and we're gonna ride this out. Let's see if we're right. Now, if we are wrong, of course, we are going to get fined. Which is a risk we have to take in this city. That'll be, a, yeah, that'll be real awkward that we came into their house and arrested her at, uh, one in the morning. It's gonna be real awkward if this is wrong. Anyways. Let's go. Shit, you're right, Cookie. What if we just killed the people that find us? There we go. Now you're thinking. All right. Submitted the case. Let's see if we're right. Case solved, baby. We did it. It's just that fucking easy. 1900, baby. And our social credit leveled up. Let's go! So yeah, the goal of this game is to get enough social credit through doing solving these mysteries and murders to retire to the fields, which is like a super stellar, like, you know, thing. Merc vehicle. Public communication. Humiliation. No questions asked, no questions answered. D. Uh, ask staff for Thompson. That's what's the rest required by Epsilon. Handcuff requirements. Subject may be on... And it's dangerous. The deal's available on acceptance. For st Starch Cola wants us to do this. Wanted. Discreet individual. Photography skills required. Reward of a rare sync disc. And $700. Call. Another outsource request. This one's uh, a lot more money. Oh boy. Ask staff for Flynn. Careful investigator wants a stolen item case. 1850 for safe recovery. 
Gamma Enforcer Division, 1400. And work available for discrete individual business related concerns require investigation. Significant fee available for the right person. So we got a lot of jobs we could take here. Crimes we could solve. We're going to close this case. We don't, we're not going to find the murder weapon. Yeah, we'll close that case. No longer our problem. All right. We could buy a truncheon and really attack some folks. We need another set of handcuffs. First things first. We got to get rid of some of these things. We're still allowed to go back to their apartment and explore the whole thing. Oh, we can get a drink of water. Oh, well, perfect timing. We can't drink, apparently. Well, no choice. Cheers. Bottoms up. To a great job. Job well done. We gotta go. We gotta go right now. We gotta... We gotta go right now. Anyways. You gotta be ready for anything in the streets of this cold city. And sometimes that means some mystery person will throw a bottle in the city hall. What is this world coming to? It's a dangerous place, the streets of shitty Come Town podcast. By God, someone's gotta protect them. Oh, we forgot to take any of those jobs. Shit. Okay. So we wander the town drunk until we find another until another murder case happens. Or or we take one of those jobs. Will they be mad at us if we walk back in? Hi, we didn't do anything. Real fucked up case that happened here, you know? God, who could have done this? Who could have fucking done this? Disrespect to our great city. Okay. Jobs. Jobs. Job. Nice. We need it. Oh, yeah, we gotta eat our synth beef. Okay. Put away our synth cube of beef. Do we have an apartment? We should get an apartment. We should have somewhere to lay our head. You know? This is so true, Maru. Is there anyone in this city that could sell us an apartment? We need an apartment. Uh. Oh, Shay, you can? Uh, cool, where you at? Who do you work for in this system? Hey, that... That person wasn't using 602 heights anymore. Do you think do you think we could just have that? Do you think they'll let us just have that apartment? Do you think they'll let us pay for that? They've got a vacant slot. They've got a vacant room. They should give it to us. We deserve it. We're a hard working detective in this city. It's only a little plastered out of our mind. What's the world coming to? 
You fucking said it, buddy. You fucking said it. All right, we're going to go speak, see if we can speak to the owner of B. Gay Heights. See if we can't rent a, an apartment. With our newfound wealth. This is the same clinic. This is Cerulean Systems. Who owns this building? Can I get an apartment? Where's management? We need somewhere to lay our head. Oh, this is the, this is the synth clinic. It is a pretty nice place here. How do we... How do we tenancy? Yeah, you're so right. You're so fucking right, Mario. We're just gonna stroll on in and sleep in one of the beds. If we crawl through the vents again, we could get back into 602. And we could just sleep in their bed. I wonder if the body's still there. Alright, we're not drunk anymore. Alright, we're gonna run around the building to Cerulean Systems. All right, excuse me, buddy. Up, oh, wait. Okay, cool. You're locked. This doesn't help us, buddy. Can we share your shack over here? Nothing. That's fair. It's cold on these streets. Buddy doesn't have any spare change. Yeah, we feel that. It's hard on these streets for everyone. Bye. Alright. Guess not here. What's this? That's a door handle. And it's compounds, ground floor lobby. We're just trying to get an apartment. We're going to get sleepy at some point. We just need somewhere to lay our head, you know? Some rest. I thought he was strolling right here in a goddamn bowling shirt. Another sink clinic. Do you think City Hall has, like, a room we can crash in? Oh, yeah, here's the, uh... Here's the Pie Enforcers area. Enforcer office. The enforcer back room. Okay. I can just sit here to pass the time. Okay. All right, never mind. Paperclip. That's a lockpick for us. All right. The door code in my office has been reset to 7087. Okay. Did 
Esther? Guess they don't like us poking around in there, huh? So, this game does auto-note some stuff. However, a lot of it is uh, us building a case web for ourselves, you know? Which is cool. So, yeah, we haven't been on a case for a little bit because we solved the first case. So, we were just trying to find out where we could get an apartment for ourselves before we took another job. We also may have... Someone may have thrown a, a wine bottle across the city hall. Someone might have done that. We don't know who, though. We don't know who could have done that. Anyways. Okay, so... We do need a job. That's an arrest request required. We need handcuffs. Yeah, we don't. We're not getting paid to solve that mystery, so it's fine. Work available. Public humiliation. No questions asked. No questions answered. Ask staff for Thompson. Uh, discreet individual. Photography skills skills required. We're gonna buy a camera with our funds. Yes, we did. This could be a fun one. Ooh, old style boxy camera. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause the game for a moment here. We're probably going to take this job of photography skills here. Just uh, for that rare sync disc and for the intrigue of it. We're going to take this job. And then... Uh, but before we do that, we're just going to step away for a quick moment. Uh, stretch. And hit the washroom. Alright, we'll be right back. And we'll do another mystery. Ah. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Who just... Somebody just donated $25 towards the computer and it scared the shit out of us. Thank you. Whoever that, that was, it didn't tell us. It just said there was a contribution. Thank you. Thank you. That scared the shit out of us. That noise is scary and loud. Thank you so much for your support. We're now $25 closer to being able to afford a new computer to make streams even better. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, Shay. That would be the worst thing ever if you jump scared us by giving us a bunch of money. Uh, so Shuki, the computer we're trying to get is one actually that was put together for us by a pal because we were asking about him in another server. So they put a parts list together for us and that's what that throne link leads to is the parts list. For the whole thing. But, yeah, no, that would really uh, scare the shit out of us. Oh, that would get us so bad if you gave us a bunch of money a bunch of times towards a new computer and scared the shit out of us. That would really, oh, that would, that would get us so bad. That would get us so bad. We're going to be right back, okay? We're going to be right back.
Hello, we're back. And we we've come to a realization. While we stepped away, we took we realized something. Uh we probably keep getting nauseous when we eat our synthetic beef because we haven't cooked it. All right, uh, eight, one, one, three, seven, two, five. Payphone at Ash Warehouse will ring in exactly 337. Answer it. All right, what time is it now? 3.33. Shit. Uh, where's, where's Ash Warehouse? Uh, those are public bathrooms. Power room. Yeah, weird how that would work, you know, having to cook the food. Where the hell is Ash Warehouse? That's apartments. And an address. And an address. Thanks for hanging out, Kelly. You have yourself a good one, all right? All right. We have to figure out where this warehouse is. And fast. Three minutes to get there. Okay. Was the news payphone? In the new city directory. And fast. Ah, shit. How the fuck were we supposed to get all the way down there in, like, the three seconds we had? Out of, out of the way. Need a photograph of somebody. There's a briefcase hidden nearby with information about the mark. Clear it under the door at one or two just heights. Okay.
this photography job has become a lot more suspicious suddenly. We have the employee. They don't care if we just open the employee record here. Alright. That's pep. There's a suitcase hidden nearby. Let's see. We're stupid. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the synth milk. Alright. Inspect. Small rigid briefcase, which could contain something important. Pick up and select the briefcase in your inventory to open it. Alright. Goddamn sink junkies dropping milk on the floor. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's fucked up what happens in this day and age. If you'll excuse me. I'm gonna go open this in the hall. Alright. Take a photo of the target. Alright. Who is the target? Is there somebody walking into... Oh my god, it's the Hobbit again. It's, it's another caked up Hobbit. What the fuck is your problem? You and your weird juicy thighs and cheeks get out of my way I have photos to take it's it's open all right His shoe size is 10. Blood type B. Job title receptionist. Lives on the first floor of Johnson House. Okay. Alright. Well then. Where's Johnson House? Put that away. All right, well, we got a place to go find. And all we know is their shoe size and the house they live in is on the first floor and that they work as a receptionist. All right. This is Johnson House. All right. So, we got a little break in entering to do. Someone's sleeping out there. All right. First floor. 
Well, it's whoever lives here. Hmm. All right. That said... Is that a goddamn minigun? Doors locked. Security cameras there. What the? Where did it go? What if I give you fifty dollars? Camila Gaines. Because I'm a charming winning individual. Gotcha. Goodbye. See you around. It's Jude Willems. Oh, it's your partner. It's Jude Willems. Nine to five. Well, it's 4.27 in the morning, so. So it's not you. You'll excuse me for a moment. Is your husband home? Is your partner home? Is your roommate home? What the fuck is that? Well, we got a picture of Jude Willems, apparently. Uh. All right. We gotta go... Well, sorry I knocked on your own door. Sorry about that. You, you have yourselves a lovely night now. Be careful of weirdos that might come into your apartment and take pictures of you and your husband while they're sleeping. Anyways, ah oh man, shame we threw away that synth. Hang on a second. Hang on, while we're here. While we're here. Howdy, Jude. Oh my god, you're another caked-up hobbit. What if we, uh... Well, this doesn't help anyone. <laughs> Have a lovely night. We'll see ourselves out. 
now that we've uh splattered meat all over the uh gone ahead and splattered meat all over your kitchen uh yeah we're gonna go now we're gonna we're gonna go now all right let's go turn this in uh where are we going just heights first floor landing uh excuse me sir i've got a map to look at that's the wrong one that's the wrong one that's the right one oh okay it's just down the street well we're, yeah we're hungry we tried like we tried cooking ourselves the synth beef but like it didn't work I'm on from Wolf Fast Fries. Hi, can we buy some food? Oh, buddy, you got cheeseburger? Alright, fuck, never mind. Hey, buddy, do you mind if we, uh... What? Don't mind us. We're just leaving a suspicious. There's nothing suspicious. Sell us a burger. Would you sell us a cheeseburger? Feast sugar? Don't talk to me anymore. Damn, we're eating this burger real slow. Yeet! Well, we missed. I suppose we shouldn't just leave this briefcase on the, uh... Don't look at that. If you looked at there, I'll beat you to death. We've settled on a strange role play here. Anyways, is this one just house? Is this one just house? This is just heights. Yeah, perfect. Just heights, first floor landing. Alright. Okay. Alright, alright, okay. Break it down now, y'all. We're handing in a case. Under the door. Hi, we took your weird creeper fit pictures from inside their room. You better pay us. Alright, now we have to solve the case of who's the pervert that lives here. 100 social credit. And 700 bucks. Ooh, from the mailbox. Alright. We get a reward. Oh, ho, ho. It's gonna be a pipe bomb, we know it. No, it's a synth disc. Well, we don't need that anymore. Oh, ho. Well, let's go get ourselves something to drink. And then let's go get ourselves synth to the fuck up. Howdy, Wolf. Howdy again. Some, be careful out there. Some weirdos are talking about briefcases and shit. Sorry for blinding you with the flashlight. Could I have a cola? Never mind. Oh, they got churros here? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Hang on a second. Why do we just have this? Oh yeah, we stole it from the phone booth. Roll it! Five. Okay. 
Oh, wait, there's more job listings here. Apartment for sale! In the basement of B. Gay Heights! Low price due to odor. Buddy, you know we're in! Holy shit! God, we're so good at this. We have an apartment, and we solved the case. What is this case? Most good. Uh, most odors that lower. We thought this man was shirtless for a minute. New apartment. Anyways, most odors that uh, lower the price of something don't tend to be good, Shuki. This man better sell his cola right now. Yeah, we'll give it a sniff when we get there. Oh, that guy must be the chef. We're hydrated as fuck, baby. Why are we so mean when we play games like this? Why did we do that? Why did we just throw the can back at that poor employee? This is a fucking mystery to us. Let's go give this apartment a sniff. Oh, that's a light. Okay. Okay. Well. It's a little dingy in here, but, uh... It's got vent access. We don't have a toilet or a shower or anything. Okay. Well... We got what we paid for, we suppose. How do we furnish this place? We gotta be able to, right? Alright, this is gonna be our quest for the rest of the stream, is we're gonna see about furnishing this place into a livable place. Cardboard box. Boop. Okay. Yeah, that's our goal here. So we're gonna furnish the shit out of this place. And we're going to see what we can do. Make it decent and livable. Excuse me. All right, just a moment here. All right, so we have no idea where in this city we're going to go for furniture, but we have a place across from the diner, so that feels good. The Synth Clinic. Hang on, we gotta get... We gotta go for a quick lie down right here. Get our ass in the bed. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna take the one about knocking out cameras, because we haven't done it on this stream, but we find that to be more useful than uh, throwing down with citizens. Right now. Yeah, we'll install that in our brain. Ah! 
We've been flashbanged. <laughs> Okay, we're good. God, everything's bright now. All right. Let's get out of here. All right. God, we just want to buy some furniture. We just want to buy a bed. <laughs> and a toilet. There's the market. Let's go there and walk through the park. It's lovely and peaceful here. All right. Well, I can buy toilet paper at least, so it's handy, I guess. Oh, okay, they're all gonna have the same thing, aren't they? Unforge, unforge. What's that? That's a hairpin. You just take the screwdriver, huh? Now we can buy more synth beef to go with our synth beef. We can use newspapers to hide from pursuers. That's great. That's so good. This game's good. We don't know. We haven't said that this stream because we've been immersed in our weird detective shit this game's good this game's fun also we've realized something here which is we're solving the case is pretty easily as they come and it's uh probably because we're on the easiest difficulty we want to like ease ourselves in here but uh for next time we stream this game we're absolutely gonna turn the difficulty up hopefully we can do that on the fly otherwise we'll have to start a new city That person just walked into and out of a dumpster. Alright. Where do we buy a bed? Or a furniture of some sort? Let's take a little sit on this bench. And let's consult our map. Alright. Uh. Dunn's Compounds. Volunteer Kitchen. That's a diner of some sort. That's really in systems at BK Heights where we live. Okay, that doesn't help us. Here's some sort of pawn shop. Okay, that makes sense. There's little icons. It might be hard to see on the map on stream, but uh, there's little icons in some of the areas. We zoom in. It won't let us scroll to zoom in. Okay. There's a laundrette. There's a sink clinic still. Asian restaurant. That's City Hall. Medallion Sun's office. A pharmacy. That's handy. Another Asian restaurant. Uh, that's a restaurant for sure. Uh, that's a cafeteria for Dunn's Compounds. Okay. Noticeably... Not seeing a furniture store. That is a weapons dealer in the basement where we live, though. There's a gambling den in there. There's our apartment. Our basement apartment. Um, Damn, there's a lot down here in our basement. Alright. I guess we're gonna try over at Dunn's Compounds here. We don't know what that'll be, but like, I don't know. Maybe Dunn will let us buy some furniture. Who fucking knows? Not us.
That's a basketball hoop, okay. All right. Howdy. Uh, what's your name? All right. Fair enough. So that's not a furniture store. That's a cafeteria. Shit. Where do we buy furniture? For our shitty apartment. Where's a phone book? We gotta look up a directory. We gotta look up a city directory. Here we are. Okay. Consult trading post. Cow dining car. Okay, there's a bunch of addresses we don't know. So that might have something to do with it. What does Flamingo Corporation do? They're an office of some sort, okay. We know the Generous Wolf Tavern. That won't help us get furniture. Juggernaut Habanero. Ooh. That sounds good. A lot of kitchens in this town, which is good. However, we're noticing a lack of places to buy a bed so that we don't freeze to death outside. Or, like, we'll sleep on the floor. That didn't help us at all. Excellent. You good, buddy? Alright. Maybe we'll have to steal a bed. Like, from... From a, from a crime scene. We'll have to steal a whole bed. We'll do it if we have to. Yeah. Yeah, it's cold out here, buddy. What's this? What's this building? What is this? Ah, we can just go in. Oh, it's a restaurant. Okay. Where am I right now? Oh, I'm down here. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to go try the pawn shop. See if they sell beds. Oh, the monitor for CCTV. 
We can steal that if we wanted. Howdy. Tasty farmer. Oh, they're they're closed right now. Does, does anyone know their hours? We'd steal a food truck. There are so many questions we need answers to. So so many questions. We'll find those answers. Somewhere. Somehow. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, we're cold out. We get it. We get it. Okay, we googled it. We're not gonna lie, we googled it. And, uh... Alright. It's good that we googled it, in all honesty, because we weren't gonna figure it out on our own. We were just gonna stumble around dumb forever, and freeze to death outside while we tried to figure it out. Apparently, if you open your inventory while inside your apartment, it opens, like... a new option. This is the Johnson house. How did we get here? Where are we? How did we get here? <gasps> All right. Anyways, let's go see what we can afford. The deck out. Our sick new apartment in the basement. Nope, can't cut through there. We go all the way around. All right. So this is a really interesting game. We kind of expected more cases to be rolling in when it comes to, like, the murderer cases. Because the ones on the board seem like they're supposed to be side jobs, but it seems like they're supposed to be, like, more murder cases happening, probably. It might just be because we're on easy difficulty. And it's like, oh, it's going to put a lot of time between murder cases so we don't have to, like, juggle them. So that said, yeah, again, next time we're gonna we're gonna pump the difficulty up a little bit, and from there, we will uh, we'll go from there. Increase the difficulty. Go ahead and uh, really give our detective brain a challenge. Edit decor. Oh, okay, yeah, there's the button. All right. Well, gang, we got to design a house. Holy shit. We get to choose how much dirt they put on the roosters. Just a little bit of dirt. Oh, that's the wrong one. All right, so we're going with the roosters. Yeah. I think we're all in agreement here. That it's all... Yeah, it's also a house designing game, apparently. We didn't know this until right now. We're going with the roosters. Yeah, we'll spend 300 credits on that. All right. Uh, shop. We have to spend money to get plug sockets on the walls. All right, we could spend ten dollars on a bedroll, but uh, oh fuck yeah, fairy lights! Holy shit! All right, first things first. We should get some lamps in here. First things first. We gotta get a bed, like a proper bed. What the fuck is... 
Why would we need an EEG machine? Okay, fair enough. We could buy an office cubicle. Vintage bed. Ooh. All right, not a bad little bed. I feel like this is still, like, not a great bed, you know? But it's cheap. We'll take it. Alright, so we have a bed now. This is good. Uh, oh, they're up on the roof. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. A single strand of fairy lights up there on the roof. Incredible. Okay, so we've got this. We need a kitchen set up. Alright. Can we get a stove? All right, we can get showers and baths and toilet. Ooh, a bathroom cubicle. Oh my God, we can get a deer head. This game just fucking opened up in a whole new way. A weapons locker, just in our fucking apartment. Okay. Uh... Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna put this in the... Yeah, we'll put that in the corner. Well, actually... We're gonna center that. Alright. Yeah, we didn't realize this game was gonna be Animal Crossing. But we, but we fucking dig it. We dig this. Alright, we just want... Cancel that one, no. Yeah, we want a kitchen at counter. one on the other side as well we're living decadently here two kitchen counters that's right that's right folks We don't know how to cook. Man, give us back our synth beef. Do we have to, like, get a pan? Well, now there's blood all over our stove. <laughs> we have to solve this. <laughs> Who could have done this?
the fuck's happening out here? We don't know what's going on out here. We're going back into our fucking apartment. It sounded like there was somebody banging on a door out there. Oh. This was meant to be mounted the other meant to be mounted the other way, huh? Because uh It don't got Well, that's fine. That's whatever. It's our apartment. What do we want? Oh man, we got a lot of blood everywhere. Son of a bitch. When we threw that synth beef at the hob how do I use this thought that was thunder okay that we thought that was a sound or like synth beef Well, you're on the hob and you're cooking. Are you? Are you cooking? We don't know. We don't know. Can we buy a pan? No. Okay. Okay. We're going to buy a cork board. Nice. Now we can build more conspiracy webs right here at home. That's the most valuable thing we can do. All right. Well, we've got our now bloody apartment. Uh... We don't know how to cook, but we do have a block of synth beef. We'll figure out how to cook that next time. Let's get to bed. Oh. There we go. Let's get comfy. Well, this is a stream of successes. We solved a murder case, we took a pervert picture for some guy, and we bought an apartment. And we covered it in roosters and blood. We're succeeding. Our fairy lights cast an ominous shadow up there, but that's whatever. So, with that said, that sounds like the successful stream. Uh, we're going to return to this game. We're going to keep this adventure going of shitty cum, cum town podcast and figure out what the hell is going on here but again we're gonna see if we can't get ourselves some fucking mysteries going increase the difficulty a little you know look at all these chickens these chickens why did we say that anyways uh so what's coming up simple monday business as usual it's going to be a uh, back half. Oh, fuck yeah, Cookie. We saw you open Apex. You're gaming. We have this effect on people. Listening to us talk is so, makes you so good at Apex. Which is great because we're terrible at the game. Anyways. So. Now we've carried Cookie to victory. Monday will be the return of Metal Gear Monday. As Grape and us will finish the back half of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. We're almost done there. That's going to be a good one. Look forward to it. We're going to do the rest of the game, plus both DLCs. It's going to be good. Uh, Tuesday, we are going to be back playing Lobotomy Corporation. We're about 16 days in. We're catching back up to where we were. The birdies are very cute. They're a great addition to the room. They add a lot to the flair and the decor. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and save this. Elena Crutchfield, Shitty Come Town Podcast. All right, confirm the save there. So, we'll be back in Lobotomy Corporation on Tuesday. On Sunday, though, we're expanding the range here. We're going to be talking a little bit about... Oh, hi, Mike. Uh, welcome to the end of the stream. You, you might have, in fact... But, never fear, Mike. This will not be, uh, the first one. Yeah, no, this won't be the last stream. Honestly, here's the thing. Uh, we, uh, normally we would go longer on these streams. We're not gonna lie, gang. Today's been exhausting. Like, work, work was exhausting today. We've just been going, going, going nonstop since, like, 8 a.m. this morning. So we're just tired. That's all. So that's the only reason we're wrapping up a little early. So we're going to go chill. Uh, we appreciate the suggestion, Cookie. However, we do know where we're raiding over to already. So anyways, uh, Sunday. 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 Justin is going to be live. With uh, Dead Space, we believe. And. 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 The premiere of something very exciting. A.K. Otter. But yes, there will be something very exciting showcased on that stream. Don't you worry. So, make sure to tune in. So that said, gang, we're going to raid over to Melody Burst. She has just gone live a little bit ago, about half an hour ago, with a playing my sims for the wii which uh is a really weird take on the sims so yeah uh raid message uh yeah we're going she's playing my sims you're gonna want to go yeah yeah, you're going to want to go over there. Neither had we until Melody decided she was going to do it. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching the stream and hanging out with us today. This was a lot of fun. We're going to play more Shadows of Doubt probably next Friday, honestly. Who's to say? We'll play it again at some point on stream. We'll continue our adventure. Uh, Jesus Christ. Calm down, Mozilla Firefox. Calm the fuck down. Uh, so, yeah. We're going to send you all over to Melody. Be cool. We don't have a raid message. Uh, have fun and be yourselves. That said, thank you all so much for watching and tuning in for the stream. Have yourselves, and thank you again to, uh, we went and found the message, Winston Overwatch, for the $25 towards our new computer fund, which, hey, if you look at the throne link down below the stream, you'll find. And, as always... Have yourselves a wonderful day, night, whatever time it is for you. Go say hi to Melody. The stream's over now. Goodbye.